Sometimes din kasi like, they say signal number three sa umaga, wala namang bagyo or signs, but usually, pagdating na hapon, di ba? Like, it becomes worse. So just to be safe, we'd rather stay home. Siyempre po, unahin ko yung safety namin. So mag-evacuate po kami agad. Lalo na po at nakamamatay talaga yung landslide. Evacuate siyempre, kasi siyempre mas isportante naman talaga ang buhay ng tao. From Bicol po ako, so masyadong maraming bagyo na tumatama sa amin. So yun, parang safety na rin para sa amin, lalabas na lang po. Pupunta po agad kami ng evacuation or parang safety na lang din para sa amin. And, Ah, siyempre po, lilikas po kami kasi para sa amin, mas importante yung buhay kasi sa mga properties na masira man yan ng landslide, importante yung buhay kami. Mga viewers, ito ulit si Benny Pacheco, isang structural engineer at mga kasama ko ngayon. I'm Pichi Mendoza from the Department of Psychology. Maida Tuin from the Department of Art Studies, College of Arts and Letters. Mark Sarko, a geotechnical engineer from the Institute of Civil Engineering. Of course, si Doy Rosete sa College of Fine Arts. Ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon, of course, disaster risk pa rin. Pero hindi ba, ang disaster risk, hindi lang naman yung mga hazard na maaring natural, maaring man-made. Hindi rin lang yung ating mga physical vulnerability like kahinaan ng tao o kahinaan ng building. Uh, Pag-usapan naman natin ngayon yung mga psychological aspects, social aspects, dahil sabi nga kung uh, masusukat yung mga building sa yung mga lindol, paano naman yung pakiramdam sa reaksyon ng mga tao? May mga tinanong tayo kanina. Sabi nila, nakikinig ba sila? Anong gagawin nila pag may warning? Napansin nyo ba yung may sabing lalabas pa rin o hindi na lalabas kung may storm lalabas, warning 3? Oh. Oh. So, uh, dyan papasok yung uh, mga studies no? or mga kaalaman natin tungkol sa uh, mga tao. No? Paano naman sila nag assess ng risk? No? Kasi pag narinig oh. nila yun, i-internalize pa, no? tapos right. oh. mag-decide. So, uh, we hear about risk assessment coming from the experts, like uh, how much is the wind speed of a particular typhoon, how much rain will it pour uh, down, you know, uh, or what is the probability of a landslide uh, within the next 12 hours, for example. But how do we, as people, as recipients of those uh, warning systems, uh, assess those messages because they are messages. So we need to understand how do people themselves do risk assessment. So, napag-usapan natin last time, ano, I think, na mention yung meron tayong perceived risk as people. No? For example, you see, uh, you see dark clouds and Mark maybe will say, oh, there's a storm coming soon. Ano? And maybe Doy will say, ay, salamat, hindi mainit. No? Walang, walang init ngayon. So, iba-iba yung meaning na nabibigay sa atin ng iba-ibang uh, environmental conditions. Nabanggit yung meaning. E di ba ngayon, sa halip na tayo titingin sa sky o sa lupa, <laughs> may mga scientists ginagawa yon for us. Yeah. Tapos mag announce na lang na, o oh, orange rainfall warning or storm signal number three, number, color. Ano kaya ang tingin nyo sa mga sa visual na sining kung effective kaya yan culturally? Yung sasabihin tayo na orange is okay, okay pa, pero red ang matindi. Meron na rin kasi tayong mga nakagawian ng mga kulay, katulad nga yan sa traffic lights, no? na sinasabi na pag pula, eh, titigil ka. Pagka ito ay yellow, ay proceed with caution. Ika nga, at sa berde, eh, pwedeng tuloy-tuloy lang. Kaya nakondisyon na rin natin tayo nitong mga kulay na ito. At tingin ko, international naman ito, no? uh, lingwahe. Kaya madali nating intindihin. Kung ano nga lang yung nakalapat na risk doon, well, sinasabi lang natin na ito na ang huling tungtungan ng risk na ito. Mamaaring sasabihin natin na, umalis ka na dyan, o ikaw ay malulunod. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin nito? Kung baga, ang, ang tinitingnan natin dyan eh, kung nakita natin na pinakapula, ang pinaka-dangerous, kung baga, o most risky, 
Ano ba yun? Ano ba yung sa atin? Yun, si uh, Alimbawa, uh, uh, storm signal 3, kung sa hangin naman. Pero May, you have to go to the hospital to bring someone. Will you drive out? Oh, ikong emergency eh. Aha, oh, aha. So life na immediate yun. Na kailangan niya na immediate attention. Okay. Kasi pag signal number 3, maaring dumating mamayang hapon. Pero ngayon na yung emergency. Ay, kung hindi hospital, magmamol ka pa rin? Hindi na magmumol. Matutulog mm. na lang ako. Oh, Kasi hindi naman, yun, hindi naman yun higher. Oo, oh, hindi naman. I mean, we don't have food in the house. It can wait. Mm -hmm. Iba kasi sabi nila, magdedesisyon lang sila pag nasa labas na kung anong nangyayari. Eh. Mm -hmm. Kitingnan doon nila kung talagang umuulan na. Mm -hmm. In fact, that think? happened to me. Uh -huh. Yung during millennio, I and another person had a meeting with someone from from abroad. And Pero may was, signal? May signal for. for. And I, I think part of it was because we didn't really trust that uh, there were many times <laughs> at when there was, time. at the time, this was 2006, there were many times na signal for, eh, wala namang nangyayari. So we went out Ayon. and then we got trapped into uh, a building. Dahil may nangyari talaga. Yes. Because How the, long after nagkatotoo yung parang forecast, you think? Actually, we were in the building and the building began to shake. So that's the only time we realized. And then they evacuated people to the lobby. It's only then that we realized that it was really a signal. So within for, several hours? Siguro within several hours. At 8 o'clock, it was still sunny. But then by 12 o'clock, the, the building was shaking and all of that due to the strong wind. Nowadays ba, anong observation nyo? Mukha bang naiintindihan na natin o ng publiko yung ganong klase ng warning na meron palang advanced time war ano yun, ano? advanced lead time? Okay. In fact, I just uh, found out that this morning uh, colors no, for typhoons are not just about for wind rainfall. speed or rainfall. They're also about a time period. Yes, so yes. I found out from Dr. Lagmay that he said, oh, that, that gives you 24 hours. You know? yes. That gives you 48, 48 yeah. hours. Yes. And therefore, these warning signals are more complicated than uh, I initially had thought they would yeah. be. Yeah. No? And so those are nice things to know no? uh, in relation to the messages that are used as warning signals. In other places, I know in New Zealand, for example, if they say there's going to be uh, an earthquake, they tell you these are the signs, but they go further than that. They will tell you what to do when you perceive those signs. Yon. So, y yun siguro yung nabanggit ka na ni Doy na baka maaring magkulang, Sinabi na tayo maliwanag na red na yung pinakamataas o number four na yung pinakamataas kung sa wind. And yet, tinutuloy ba na pinapaalala sa atin kung ano yung pwede mangyari kung hindi tayo makinig? Yun ang mahalaga Yan siya. Ang mahal. Para ma-assess din noong nakatanggap ng Oo. information kung paano siya gagalaw. So, limbawa, signal number three, you have three hours. Ganon. 18 uh, yata. No, 18. 18, 18 oh, I oh, see. Oh. Four is... The, the closer, the larger, the, the more, the, the bigger higher. the number, no, the closer the, the typhoon the is typhoon already. Is. Yes. Okay. yes. At yung signal 3 yata, pinakamahinang signal, within 36 or 48 hours yung frame. Malayo pa alagwa, saka mahina lang, banayad lang. So, may lakas ng hangin, saka may tagal o bilis ng pagdating. Mm -hmm. And I think even the colored warning signals for or uh, rainfall. warning for rainfall, rainfall also have a time period in which you should expect a certain intensity of rainfall. Yan ang mahirap sa landslide, ano? Mm -hmm. Wala pa tayong nalalaman Wala na ganun ka ganun. detalyado yes, right. na warning para mm -hmm. sa landslide. Mm -hmm. Sa earthquake, may nabanggit, gano'n kaya ka-effective yung earthquake warning system? Yun, naiiba rin ah, yun. Yung earthquake warning system, based on what uh, I have discussed with geologists, no? is uh, more difficult because you have very uh, low frequencies of events. Uh -huh. So yung pinatubo, if it just happened once in 500 years, how can you predict the next 10 years or the next 30 years? No? So kulang yung sample size mo, kung baga, if we're talking about uh, a study, no? uh, to make a 
uh, reliable estimate of when the next earthquake will happen. So they, uh, they have to, like landslides, take a closer look at the peculiar characteristics just before the, lands, uh, the earthquake uh, happened Ito, in the past. Mga short oh, term na mga ano, Short term, no? oh. Yeah. So, yun. May, it's hard enough to do the risk assessment for certain hazards, no? But it's harder for people to be able to know what to do, no? Based on the warning. And then they translate it into their own context. So, yung perception natin ng risk, meron pa siyang katumbas na acceptance of risk no Tama. as kung, illustrated in the case of me kung uh, may mas matimbang oh. kang gagawin mm. you might take the risk ikaw nga oo oh, oo oh, oh. okay. okay so hindi lang uh, sasabihin sa iyo na oh may typhoon dapat meron din sasabihin sa iyo yung message na yon na okay this is what you're supposed to do and if you don't do it then the consequences will be uh, extremely uh, adverse. Pwede siguro so, gawing graphic. Pag may storm signal number four at nag-drive ka sa road, maaaring liparin yung kotse mo. Siguro dapat ganun. ipaliwanag yun sa atin. Or baka hindi ka makaabante faster than X kilometers per hour dahil katapat mo yung hangin. Ano pa kaya, no? Kung, kung ano kaya magandang description? Kung, kung ulan naman, ano kaya magandang description pagka pag red, maaring... Maaring lampas tao na. Maaring lampas tao, mainim sabihin siguro. Maaling malunod yung anak mo. Yung, o siguro. yung aso. Dahil kung minsan, <laughs> eh, mas nagre-react tayo ng hindi tayong at risk, o, o. kundi yung, yung mahal natin. Kung sino yung mahal natin sa buhay. There would be something like, the flood is so great na you shouldn't go into the flood because the currents may carry you may away or, or something like that. Yun ang hinahanap natin para ma-assess natin kung acceptable ba yung consequence or willing to take the risk for that consequence. Eh kasi, sabi sa ating mga in-interview, sila mag-iisip pa, mag dalawang tao, magkaiba ang kanilang gagawin. Ano? Yung isa, tanggap na lang, hindi nagagalaw sa bahay. Yung isa, mag-observe mag sa labas. Although well-informed naman siya na pwedeng after X hours, eh talagang may mangyayari, so alert din naman. Meron ba kayong kilala na hindi naniniwala sa mga warning hanggang ngayon dahil maybe dati meron na false alarm? Meron bang ganong example? Unti-unti. Unti-unti, ano? Marami akong kilalang ganon. Maraming kilalang ganon? Kaya marami rin akong kilala na risk takers sa ganyan. Pero ang nakikita ko dito, siguro may profiling din tayong dapat gawin. Personality. Natin. Para makita natin kung ano ba yung gusto nila na maaring masira o mawala. Maari siguro yung mahal niya yung sasakya niya, sabihin mo eh masisira yung transmission ng kotse mo dyan sa bahang ganyan. Kung anong importante sa kanya, doon may translate yung warning. O yun, siguro. Okay, so, okay. May profile tayo. So, in fact, maaring tumaog no? na yung sasakyan mo. Kasi maaring yung gutter level lang yung water. Correct. Pero ang lakas ng current. So, Correct. maaring kang tumaog. Correct. Or kung napaka-avid gardener siya, ang sabihin mo, ba malulunod yung mga gumamela at uh, roses? Ganon kadaming rainfall. Yeah or malulunod niya, ah, yung, yung mga halaman mo sa dami. Para matranslate sa something close to the experience. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero parang nakukulangan pa rin doon ako sa mga code, code red na yan. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kasi limbawa, talaga bang pagka code red na hindi ka, hindi ka alis ng bahay, eh paano kung in danger ka doon sa loob ng bahay mo? Tulad ng nangyari sa Ondoy. So yung mapping pa rin eh, specific pa rin dapat uh -huh. talaga. Yun din, ano, kailangang sabihin na hindi lang isang course of action. Sabihin, yeah, yeah. stay indoors. And cut on pala, mm. yung indoor mo, yun yung liliparin ka agad. Yeah, yeah. Or, Or babahain, babahain ka, ka agad. agad. Matatrap ka pala inside your house. So what do you do? Hmm. Then take out your raft and go somewhere na. Uh -huh. ba? Diba? Parang ganun. Ilabas mo na yung bangka mo sa garahe. Hindi, yung warning systems na yan, ano, they, they, they help you prepare in the future yun, no, yun. for the possibility of this uh, consequences. Pag sinabi, ito yung uh, typhoon number four or color dread, ano, uh, di dapat handa ka na bago pa magkaroon ng ganong 
uh, typhoon warning. No? So, pwede to higher ground? Yun. Or, pwede hindi yeah. lang stay indoors ang oh. action. Oh, 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 pwede, oh, oh. if you can, oh. move to higher ground. ground right, or right. if you can, secure oh. your roof. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm or park your car somewhere na hindi ma baka makitira yeah. muna mm -hmm. sa isang kamag-anak na sa mataas or tapan ng mga balde yung mga yes. halaman para hindi malunod sa rain so yung ibang actions ano hindi ko na didinig yun sa mga halimbawa na go broadcast sa sa TV kasi nga yung broadcast is again radio. ano one size fits all na hindi na babanggit yung mga alternative actions ano? uh -oh. yun siguro yung kailangan oo uh oo -oh. uh -oh. um itong Itong kasing isa pa tatanungin natin sa tungkol naman sa fire. Eh, paano naman kung yung hazard, walang ka-warning-warning? Mm -hmm. Like a fire. Like no? biglaan ng fire. Mm -hmm. May iba tayo. Kasi yung atang pag-usapan kanina, yung mga namomonitor. Mm -hmm. Typhoon, flood, Although storm. Although may smoke alarms tayo, no? Dapat. Sa bagay, sa bagay. <laughs> Pero may mga communities oh. na wala. Wala, oo. Oh, oh. So, uh, I, sa smoke uh, alarm system, Kasi they have uh, already devised uh, a gadget that can uh, react ano, by providing a warning bell or a ringing bell if there is so much smoke in the air. However, it doesn't really tell us where, what to do. You run away from where because you don't know where the source of the fire is, maybe, diba? And the most common mistake is you go to the bathroom and you get trapped there thinking the fire will kill you when in fact it's the smoke, the smoke. Oh, yeah. and the bathroom is the best way to get all that smoke uh, concentrated and will kill you immediately kay ba may drill pag nakadinig ng alarm bell ng fire may drill ba kayong ginagawa para malaman kung anong gagawin sa building natin hmm. i would say in at work we do there was a uh, there was a drill for that. So I think in uh, the Institute of Civil Engineering, we know where the exit uh, doors are. Exit, there. no? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, first thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, after mag exit, ano, or knowing the exit, ano pa ba yung mga ibang actions pagka may fire alarm? Ano bang na training natin? Uh, why are you? Kasi sa amin mas ano eh, sa. So office ko, meron na kaming fire marshals, meron kaming mga assigned na persons who will secure the important papers kasi ganun yung nature ng... At meron din tao na magli-lead dun sa ibang tao uh, kung saan sila pupunta. To the safe evacuation yeah. oh, oh. area. Right. Di ba gagawin yan? Whether nakita mo na yung uso ko apoy, but anyway may alarm na, execute mo na yung ano, no? Execute yung plan. mo na yung plano, oh. Sometimes false alarm, pero anyway, you have to act. So, yung ibang building, wala yata ganito, kaya dapat natin gawin siguro locally, pinapractice din, ano? Uh, do we even have enough fire exits, you think? Oh, ina-assume kasi na may fire exits. That so, kaya complies. may smoke alarm mm. system. That it complies I'm with I'm still talking of, of, of mm. houses na dikit-dikit. Oh. Oh, oh, nasa, oh, oh. nasa ganun, nasa low area. Nasa, ito yung street, tapos nandito sila. Hindi oh. pa yun marireach ng, ng fire hose. Fire hose. Yeah. Fire. Oh. Kaya may mga sitwasyon na kahit yung ganung short notice mm. na alarm, mm. hindi pa rin available. No? Mabilis kumalat Ma yung fire. Marami talagang level yung alarm saka warning kung mabilisan o matagalan. Pero mabalik tayo dun sa pati ba yung language ng pag-aalarma o pagbabawal? Palagay natin, medyo sanay na tayo. Well, misa naririnig ko sa radyo eh. Ano ba yung orange? Ay, an ano yung before orange? Yellow. 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 Oh, gutter level na yan. Okay, okay, uh -oh. okay. Oh, ano, um, nasa waist deep na. Of course, kung ano yung waist deep, yung ka kung gaano siya katol. Palagyan mo, waist. Ng, uh, <laughs> palagyan mo ng average Five person oh, like average us. person waist uh -oh. deep. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Pag sinasabing nandito na, malapit na sa, sa maglampas loob, eh, lampas loob, uh -oh. <laughs> lampas tao, uh -oh. and then medyo uh -oh. warning na talaga. So, yun na yung red. Nag-develop na, no? sinasabi uh -oh. na rin yeah. pala yan sa mga uh -oh. napapanood ninyo. Uh -oh. Okay, okay. Sa atin kayang campus, you think na papapropagate yung warning system? Halimbawa, may warning system. May relay system pa tayo dito? Para, or do we all depend sa mass media na? Sa mass Dire media. Diretso na, no? Uh -huh. I think that that is something that we need to, to put in place, a warning system 
for the university or a protocol. Na dapat hindi confusing. Na, Kasi yes, yung sa uh, police, merong warning, merong lunch bell. That sounds like a, a, a bomb eight, rage. Oh, uh -huh. I want uh, the visitor. <laughs> and yes, where visitors normally wonder what's happening. When Totoo yun. Big, like, yung universality <laughs> ng, si, ng yeah, symbol or lang. Yeah, ng symbol. No? Oh. Yung siren pala, sinasabi lamang lunch break 12 oh. o'clock. Oh. <laughs> Akala nung hindi familiar, a warning for... Are you really panicked? Ah? But that's for them. It's so ingrained in them that this particular sound oh. means you exit right away. Tawa kami ng tawa, but then in the end, I, I thought of it, it's, it's not funny because uh, that means that particular sound, we are now using it because it's a leftover from the war. We use it for the lunch bill. Uh, and, and the five o'clock oh, bill. Oh, <laughs> na dapat, na dapat hindi pala natin gawin. Kasi confuse yung mga tao. And I think that's, that's our problem with our warning systems is that they are confusing because there are other signs that we see that tell us otherwise. So, sasabihin sa'yo, Mami, wala daw pasok kasi uh, ganito, orange, ano, or typhoon signal number. No? Sabi nung, sabihin nung nanay, ah, sayang yung ano, pumunta ka pa rin. Ganun, ano? So, there's no one uh, general response to a given uh, warning signal. Dapat hindi. Dapat pag yan yung warning signal, we expect a certain general response. No? And yung yung we need to work on that. Yes, to reinforce it. Oh. Hmm. So how do you reinforce that? You need to be consistent you know, whenever you provide that warning system. Hindi pwedeng uh, at one for one typhoon, ibang warning system yung gagamitin mo, no? Uh, or tama lang na if it's another, it's another hazard like a landslide, you use another warning system. Kasi pag parehong warning system gagamitin mo, that can be confusing as well. No? But I think the whole point is that you need to provide the cue for a certain behavior of safety to take place. Cultural, mm. diba? Behavior, cultural. Oh. culture. At uh, I wonder to what extent madadagdagan pa ng science or even communication and yung mga gaps na nakikita natin, ano? Uh, meron pa rin nagtanong sa akin minsan eh, sa Lindol naman. Ano daw ang value na nagpo-forecast? Forecast ang tawag nila, pero, or predicts, pero hindi naman talaga ganun kadiretso yun, parang bagyo, no? Sabihin, Maaring gumalaw ang West Valley Fault anytime now. Ano daw ang value ng warning na yun? Ano sa palagay nyo? Ibang-ibang time frame nun eh. Yun, yeah. ano, ano sa palagay nyo doon? It has no value from a psychological no point of view. It doesn't. Yeah. Because it's telling you that uh, it may or it may not happen. And that's not a good message, di ba? Uh, so therefore, the message should be that you have to prepare for an earthquake that can come at any time. At any time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yung preparedness message mo should be uh, more nuanced no? to those people who are at greater risk. So yung mga malalapit sa West Valley Fault. Uh, katulad din nung I had a recent uh, discussion with some people uh, other psychologists and they say if you are on the West Valley Fault that makes you at high risk no? but if you are in UP Diliman for example how much less risk is that? So, so sa, pag sinabi na pag nandun ka sa malapit sa fault hindi pa rin clear yun eh ano yung malapit ano yung malayo diba? So when they when we say oh you shouldn't buy property there because it's close to the well. How close is close and how far is far? So cool earthquakes, detalye, yeah, no? cool lang talaga. Lalo na earthquake kasi na konti ang data noon ng malalaking earthquake. Kumbaga sa probability, ang hirap mong paniwalaan. Sa ibang basa, kagaya ng Japan, nadidinig ko, ang kanilang paraan, sasabihin, yung fault na ito sa gilid sa baba, south ng Tokyo, maaaring gumalaw 70% within the next 30 years. May ganun silang attempt. Oh, How about yeah. that? You think it has yeah. more meaning? I think that is, ano, because as, as long as you have a time frame 
to reckon with, you can also uh, develop a plan for that, a plan of action for that. Or not develop one at the moment, diba? But it tells you what to do, diba? To a certain extent. Meron na siyang sinasabi, oh, you have 30 years. <laughs> Or something like that. Pero sa atin kasi West Valley Fault, at any moment. At any moment, it doesn't oh, scare you. Maring Yeah, uh -oh. it doesn't scare no, you. Hindi pa enough, ano? Meron pang ang flip side. Eh. May nagkasabi na, ito madidinig ko yan, bahala na. Oo, oh, 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 ganun. Oh, kasi wala naman that. tayang control. Oh, eh. yeah. Kasi ang dating so, sa akin, napaka-uncertain. Matindi, pero uncertain kung yeah. kailan. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. oh. I don't know, kung paano, ba masa, pa, paano ba natin masosolba yung huwag naman tayo lahat maging bahala na? Kasi inisip ko rin as engineer, baka meron pa rin yung magagawa. What do you think? Na given that vague uh, warning, na hindi pa masyadong yung klaro. It's probably time to assess, for instance, our structures and see hey, how they can be made oh, yeah. oh, so, secure. Oh, oh. Secure oh. your... Time to secure, yeah. Oh, oh. Statues. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Kung sabihan tayo <laughs> na... Diba, parang mas klaro ang lakas. Ang pwede mong gawin. Kung sabihan tayo na pag gumalaw na, yung lakas noon ay enough na yung mga third floor nyo ng mga laman, mga statue or... Ay, cabinet. Or or mga cabinet. 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 So, is secure or na yun. Cabinet. Secure na yan. Or yeah. kung two-story ang bahay nyo, maaring yung ground floor ay masira. Kung ganun siguro mga kadugtong ng warning, mm -hmm. baka mas makinig tayo. Mm -hmm. no? That's the better warning, di ba? Is that it can happen and you should prepare for that event. And translated to how it may affect us. That's right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kasi apokaliptik ka agad eh. Uh, oh, this, oh, so, much, so many people die. <laughs> Parang, oh, okay, so many people uh, die. Pray. That you're not going to die. That you're not going to die. Parang helplessness na yun. Helplessness na. It will immobilize you. And you're right, oh, it brings the attitude, lang. bahala na. Kasi oh. wala naman kayong sinasabi na kailan eh, di ba? Na pwede gawin. Oh. Kasi mamayang hapon, or bukas, meron. Natutulog ka, meron. O, oh, edi talaga, <laughs> bahala na talaga. What do you tamaan want to say? Tamaan ka, tamaan ka. <laughs> hindi, hindi. Parang ganon. Ganyan ang buhay ng tao. Parang ganon. Uh, but, uh, Pichi, how would you explain, I had a case where I had a client who was living in a village that was transected by the West Valley Fault. And when I pointed out that his house was, because there's a portion of this village, mm -hmm. he said, oh no, that's three kilometers away, or that's 10 kilometers away. He seemed to be engaging in denial. Why do you think people... Uh, resort to this or because ignore. it's easy to deny because you don't have data saying that if you're within three kilometers then you're going to get you know this possible this risks are higher etc etc or if it were 10 kilometers there's no risk so he can say what he wants and there's no one who will say you're wrong or you're right diba? Kasi hindi klaro. Kasi hindi klaro. Mm -hmm. oh. Baka nga sa kanya yung 3 kilometers, ox na yun. Oh, okay. Ang problema, yung talagang nakasit ka sa fold. Mm -hmm. oh, to. Yun oh, lang ang hinihintay nilang oh, okay. sasabihin mo. Wala naman pala ako sa fold eh. He might even have been relieved <laughs> to But, find out. But yun na nga, speaking of scientists, halimbawa, sinabi ng geologists, seismologists, more or less dito yung linya. Nagkaroon ng distance na 3 kilometers. Pero how well do we know na may uncertainty yung pagka-estimate na yon yeah. ng kung saan na dumadaan ng fault. Or kahit bagyo, how sure are we sa track ng bagyo until binabantayan natin? So I wonder, no, ang tao ba, pinapactor in ba yung, ay, ang laki ng margin of error niyan. Do you think yun yun? And therefore, i-ignore nila pagka mukhang malaking margin of error. Therefore, bayan mo lang yan. Well, yun yung tinatawag namin na level of unknown risk. Level no? of unknown. So, pag meron kang malaking unknown risk, usually, ignore mo, i-deny mo. Kasi parang hindi klaro sa'yo ano talaga yung risk. Okay. Diba? Unlike when they say dreadful yung that, that uh, dimension of dread in risk, no? When they tell you, which is what I, I got from Dr. Lagmay, no? Kakaroon ng state of calamity dyan, na? yung mga bahay, talagang they will all fall, uh, fall down, no? The roofs will be torn off, ganon. Eh, talagang dreadful risk yun. What else can you say? Ay, de, pupunta pa rin kami. You cannot even say that anymore, di ba? Pero yung unknown risk, 
yun yung sinasabi na pwede, pwedeng hindi mangyari, kung di natin alam kailan mangyayari, yun yung unknown. Okay. And it doesn't work to, to give people unknown risk messages because it's not a call for action. So, importante pa rin, even if hindi totally precise, itry pa rin kalkulahin, kung, alamin kung ano yung risk para hindi abstract or unknown yung risk. And then, mag-decide pa rin versus perceive, perception and tolerance. And tolerance. Well, well, what you can do is, if you have not been able to come up with a message to predict an earthquake, you can just have a general message saying, if an earthquake were to occur, this is what you do. Uh, as I said, in other countries, they already have this, uh, let's say, when the earthquake takes place, wala silang warning, no? Magkaka-earthquake just happens. There is a message that tells them you go to this place. Scenario. May scenario na sila. If you're from this community, everyone will go to this evacuation area. And so, then they have all the medics there. So you there think scenario and, making is a good a warning good way. Yeah, practice? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yun yung hindi lang magsabi ng lilindol, but pag lumindol, ganito ang mangyayari. So ang gagawin natin ay ganoon. Right. Mm -hmm. May tanong pa ako, Doc Peach. Eh, paano naman yung, yung alam na, alam na natin. Alam na natin na darating si Yolanda. Pero ayaw pa rin pumunta sa evacuation center. Yeah, iba Bakit? naman yun. Oh, iba, yun oh. yung tinatawag Kasi natin. Kasi may nangyayari sa evacuation oh, center. Yung tinatawag natin, acceptable risk nga. Oh, no? oh. So, sa kanya, yung risk na malunod siya dun sa, sa bahay o mabasa yung mga gamit nila, is more acceptable than ma mahipu-hipuan yung asawa na so, o yung anak na sa evacuation something center. Something else na dreadful on the right. other side. Okay. In other words, you're, okay. you're just telling this person, you leave this risk, but you go to this Another other risk. risk. Diba? Which okay. Is, okay. And in your value system of uh, risks, no, this one is something that is yeah. not acceptable. You can get your feet wet, but you can't have your, you know, your loved ones molested. So, binabalansya molested. talaga, no? Yeah. Binabalansya oh. talaga. Tsaka parang wake-up call na rin sa ating gobyerno, lalo na sa local government level, na talagang bigyan ng serious thought yung evacuation hmm. centers, yung design noon, yung topography noon. Like, pumunta ka nga sa evacuation center, nalunod ka rin. Kasi oh. hindi na predict yung Yolanda oh. na ganun yeah. pala yung yeah, right. yung palang surge would go kilometer <laughs> after yeah, kilometer. Right. Yung palang so-called refuge ay high uh -huh. risk din. High, high risk, risk din. din. So, oh, oh. so, meron ding so, structural or na problem. Or evacuation center that you're going to evacuate from a landslide is oh. also landslide. At saka oh, yung main yes. yung mga conditions kasi masyadong makeshift, magkakasama oh, sila. Oh, so yeah. really prone to dangers. Huwag na natin pag-usapan yung mananakawan ka. Oh, oh. And then you become more demoralized. No? You, I see shots of refugee uh, evacuation centers where the people are just like, you know, parang mm -hmm. katatonic. katatonic na, yeah. na naghihintay na lang na. It's so dehumanizing. So Bakit hindi ba pwedeng gawing mass empowering? So maybe that's why pag may signal, hindi enough sabihin na evacuate. Kasi yeah. dapat yeah. convincing na yung evacuation <laughs> oh, area oh, ay oh, oh. acceptable. Yes. Acceptable. yes. Plus, oh, oh. maybe also for people with certain conditions yeah, that are what do you do disabled. With the, or the, the pregnant. Yeah, uh, uh, the evacuation center does not have the same facilities as your house that the really elderly. takes in oh, consideration oh. Ano these pa? things. Yung, uh, yung mga which, pregnant, yung mga... I, I, I would pets, also say even pets. 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 Because pets yes. are Can parts of families. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> they always get left behind. That's not supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. Kasi yung trauma mo, di ba, na mm -hmm. malus mo, yung pinakamamahal so, yung, mo. Yung palang warning, parang ano, trabaho ng magulang, no? Hindi enough sabihin sa anak mo na huwag kang, umalis, huwag kang pumunta dyan, delikado dyan. Mm -hmm. Kailangan i-guide mo pa rin. Right. Kung pumunta ka dyan, baka oh. ganito ang mangyari sa'yo. Mm -hmm. And best, still, babantayan mo pa rin. Oh, the best mm -hmm. example of uh, how uh, risk acceptance ano, plays a role in... Uh, the effects of disasters is in fire. No? When you see people going back in, into the fire, diba? to save what? Lamb you know, maybe or, I, yeah, or I forgot my bag there, yes. I have to get it. Diba? 
or I have to run like for my, yeah, my children are, oh. are still there. Oh. And you can see why uh, just the perception of risk warning is not sufficient, not sufficient. to make people uh, behave in a safe manner. But that's our goal sa DRM, di ba? Disaster risk reduction means you want them to behave safely so that the risk is reduced. And to be able to behave safely, you want them to fully understand. You want them to know their options or compare with their other risks. And you also minimize the risk elsewhere. Kasi baka lumipat lang. Kapit-kapit talaga ang mga trabaho sa DRRM, ano? kaya hindi effective na don't. Hindi pwede, no? Hindi. Warning, nakamamatay. Oh. Hindi yan. <laughs> Nakuwala yun. No? Yeah. Or Mahalaga stay home. Mahalaga talaga yung kung ano yung binavalue nila. No? Like, you may even go back to a fire because you would like to save your laptop and doon lahat yeah. ng information. <laughs> your lecture Pero, for tomorrow. Your lecture, your thesis. Pero maaari naman siguro pag the cloud. Alam mo na yung mga ganun. So, oh, oh. Uh, how to mm -hmm. mitigate this Diba? Yung risk yeah. Para less likely kang mapilit ang bumalik oh, oh. Para hindi ka kung may preparation ka. Oh, oh. Or matuto Parang, ka pa paano i-defend sarili mo in, in risky rin, no? situations. It's really scenario. Aral ka ng judo or something. Siguro sa mga klase natin sa eskwela, isang drill yun, you know? scenario acting. That's, That's why drills are swim. important. Drills. Oh, oh, drills oh, oh. are important. And not just fire drills, but evacuation drills in general. No? And you have to know the difference between a fire drill, uh, an earthquake drill, yes. no? a shooting drill, a bomb yes. uh, drill. No? Iba, iba yung mga yun, eh. But basic is that you, you have to make them go through it. That's why it's called a drill. Because otherwise, it's just all these thoughts that are not connected with each other. But why? Why are there failures uh, of drills? Because we're... We're not doing it. <laughs> We're doing it the wrong way. Is well, what that I too. Uh -oh. Like yung, ano, uh, I talked to VC Ernie Lopez said, but naman kayo nag-fire drill, tapos yung evacuation area, yung AS parking lot. Correct. Hindi sabi nila, halos masagasaan yung kalahati ng mga taong kasi nag evacuate yung uh, students and faculty to the parking lot, yung mga kotse sa parking lot, nag-evacuate pa labas. Oh, oh, o di nag... Oh. Na, so, hindi na design ng magkatotohan ng maganda <laughs> yung drill. Oh, oh. You also Medyo know... Medyo site-specific din dapat ng drills? Yeah, oh, hindi, but, again, oh, ano? Oh, yeah, pinaplano. Oh, oh, pinaplano. Hindi generic. Pinaplano. Ako, very specific yung pathways na dadaanan nung, uh, nung team, ano, nung staff. Napag-usapan din lang yan. Pati yung paano i-close yung drill. Kasi mm -hmm. in reality, mm -hmm. pagkatapos ng may nangyayari, di ba meron din tayong psychological na question, babalik na ba? Uh, o no, hindi? No, the, the uh -huh. end of the drill is that you tell, you tell the base no, where you are. Because I went through the engineering, mm -hmm. College of Engineering drill where they coordinated the different buildings of engineering, including those in the science uh, complex. So kasama niyo sa drill na mag-report kung anong oh, outcome. Oo, nasa na kayo. Yeah. At saka siguro, ipa-assess yung pinanggalingan yung tinakasan kung tapos na ang sitwasyon, kung pwede nang bumalik. Kasi baka hindi pa rin nagbabago yung at risk. At all, if at all. If kung at meron all. pang babalikan. Kung babalikan. Uh, kaya nga sabi, pabalik-balik tayo sa magandang mag-design ng mga warning, pero hindi pala yan simpleng magsabi ka ng One nakakatakot size. ng salita, uh -huh. mataas na numero, o nakakatakot na kulay. Importante, ipa, ipadrill mo yung anong mangyayari sa inyo kung hindi kayo susunod, gagalaw, o kaya ano naman ang mga options nyo pwedeng gawin at uh, para maiwasan yung adverse na apekto. Para din pala nga na yun, preparation with anything talagang dapat daanan mo, no? kahit simulated, para ma-internalize. Hindi pwedeng bahala na. So, simulations are important because they lead nga to muscle, literally muscle memory. Muscle memory. Oh. I think Where to go. Napakagandang concept yun, ano, muscle memory. Automatic na naaral lang yung gagawin. Like yung fire exits, yung unang drill namin, uh, dahil matatanda yung staff ng office, hindi sila, makatung, hindi sila makalabas ng Ayun, kasama bintana. yung social vulnerability. No? Oh. Ano ba yung particular sa tao? Oh, elderly. Oh. Oh. Hindi nila kaya. <laughs> 
but, but, but that's one of my questions. Aren't drills supposed to identify what are the weaknesses or shortcomings right. in the protocol so that you could, there's some sort of an assessment yes. and so that you can address these shortcomings. So the next drill, we said no more going through the fire escapes out of the window. Yung isa, di nga magkasya sa bintana. Eh, I-correct mo yung action. Oh. Okay. So it's not okay. enough to say you can go through the window fire exits. It's hindi pala pwede kasi none of us could actually put our legs over the ano. Or wala kang luluntagan oh, kung wala kang sandalan. Hindi pala dinesay yung plan para oh, sa mga 50 year old. But, yeah, exactly. exactly. Which you only realize when you go through this drill. Through the drill, yeah. Oh. And then you can say, ah, hindi siya pwede palang team leader. Kasi, aba, nag-panic yung team leader. Yeah, pati yung personality. Oh. 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 Sigaw na, oh. sigaw na. <laughs> Nauna pa siya na... Nataranta. Nataranta. <laughs> oh, so you have to... Yung assignments na ganon, na ano mo, na, na i-improve over uh, several... Took us like three drills, actually. At first, we were just laughing, laughing all the way. Eh, yung ang duck cover and hold. Yung nasa garden. Asa, ba't pa kayo nakaganyan? Eh, wala naman mga debris na, 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 ma- na pwede niya. dito mahulog. Kasi mm-hmm. napaka-vast nung open area mm-hmm. for us. No? So, yun. It's a... Uh, Hey, muscle memory. Muscle memory, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> na remember. Pwede din, ano? Naalala. Oh. Sa bagay, nakakatawa lang. Pero, <laughs> better to be laughed at than to die. But but I think muscle memory is important so that there's some sense of uh, something that's automatic that you, you know what to do. And you don't have to think about it. And you don't have to think, yes. Not, think not, not consciously, it. no. Mabalik ako dun sa nagbibigay ng mga warning. Baka sila pang, sila pang una natataranta. Naobserbahan nyo ba kung sinong mga typical na ginagawang spokesperson at taga-announce? Halimbawa ay sa bagyo o sa ulan or Meron ba kayong observasyon sa, sa media? Yung mga, kung, no, mga sila yung mga high-pitched na... <laughs> di ba? Parang sila yung mga... Ah, nandito na ngayon yung... Parang pang sila yung... Lalo nakakatarante. Eh. Dinadaan uh, sa dinadaan. taranta. Oo, no, dinadaan sa How taranta. How about yung merong napalabas eh? Nag, talagang nag-effort na computer graphics para i-visualize. Parang virtual reality. Anong impresyon yung sa mga ganong effort? Na... Ganda silang model. Siyempre. Modelo na sa halip na sabihin sa salitang nakakatakot, mm. pinakita. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nalampas na pala sa iyo pag ganun millimeters. Wag na lang, wag na lang yung dinadaan lang sa boses na kasi parang sa sa radyo yun eh. Yan ang remnant siguro ng ano natin sa radyo. Hindi describe lahat. Ano? Ay kailangan kasi exaggerate. Ay yung Kailan sa movie exaggerate. theaters, 'di ba? Iba-ibang mga yung the the at yung mga show, yeah. I think the last one that I saw was yung parang mga relax sila lahat, mga models na parang, going down the runway. Ano? Going down and the, the, ramp, the yeah. attempt there, the message that they wanted to say, because I talked to the advert, advertisement agency, and then they said na, kasi instead of saying stay calm na ganun, pakita mo na pwede naman mag-exit na kalmado kayo. Kahit na in-exaggerate nila yung pagkakalma. Oh, oh. Parang runway model oh, sila doon. Oo, runway models. <laughs> okay. So, Ang behavior ng tao talaga, tricky. Kung kung mahirap i-forecast yung bagyo o ulan, aralin mo rin kung paano magbe-behave ang tao. Ano? Uh, depende rin siguro sa age. Depende rin sa iba pang ini- inaasikasong concerns like going to the hospital or going to the office or retrieving a valuable. At ngayong napag-usapan natin ang mga aspeto ng disaster risk na psychological at social, ano nga ba ulit ang mga tips natin sa ating viewers? For me, warning systems are getting better with the better technology and the more experience that we have. However, it will take much more to get the appropriate action from people. Uh, for me, I think we should start considering a psychosocial a dimension to disaster risk reduction. We need to understand how people uh, will respond to warning signals. Like experts, they also conduct ri- risk assessments. However, these are in the form of perceived risks and acceptable risks, which they have to balance in order to decide on a particular response. 
Well, sa gana naman ng warning signals ang napag-usapan natin. Ito naman ay hindi para sa mga experts. No? Ang kausap dito ay itong ating mga general public, kung sino yung mga nanonood sa media. Kaya sa dapat natin yung kanilang pag-uugali, kung ano yung mga bagay na kanilang mga gusto sa buhay, desires, wants. No? Dahil kailangan ito ay relatable, meaningful, mga understandable. Dapat kailangan ito na sila mismo, direkta yung kausap. Because this is our public. Kaya, not for experts, ito ay para sa ating publics. No? Different publics. Para naman sa edukasyon, para sa kultura. Ay yung culture of safety, ibig sabihin, hindi lamang to pag may disaster na. Bahagi ng pagiging ligtas at saka nakahanda para sa kung ano man, bago pa mangyari yung disaster, naghahanda na rin tayong lahat. Kung magulang tayo, inaaral na natin yung kung ano-ano yung iba't ibang risks sa level ng, sa mga anak natin, transfer natin sa mga anak natin at mag sa local level. Tapos, sa, kaya ako ina-emphasize yung local level kasi yung mga peligro, yung mga risks at saka may, ang mga disasters, may kanya-kanyang aplikasyon at kanya-kanyang kondisyon. So, halimbawa, yung mga households, yung mga skwelahan, yung mga opisina, dapat lang na magkaroon ng regular drills na seryosong pinaplano para sa specific hazards, sa specific conditions ng opisina o ng family o ng lugar. At ito ay dapat ginagawang regular at seryoso, hindi pinagtatawanan para maging parte na ng ating tinatawag na muscle memory para sa safety. Kung baga na internalize na sa level ng pang-araw-araw na buhay, yung pag appropriate response sa risks. And so, with that, we'd like to leave with you this message. Ang warning signals ay dapat makahulugan, makahulugan na, na intindihan at masusundan. masusundan.